Welcome to the Kemp IT Law Vlog. I'm Richard Kemp and in this vlog we look at the use of AI in the legal department and in the law firm. At the moment legal AI is at the frothy part of the hype cycle. This isn't surprising as we're just at the start of the machine learning era. In the legal services world client requirements for greater efficiency are driving faster change both in-house and in law firms. And we're now beginning to see a lot of mass market AI driven change and it's now routinely in what we use at work. Natural language interfaces, speaking not typing into our devices, digital personal assistance, organising our day and mixed reality for learning and training. For business legal services AI use centres on efficiencies in repeatable, standardisable project components like contract automation, compliance, litigation discovery and due diligence in M&A. The big law firms have taken the lead here in deals with Kira, Luminance, Raven and Ross, the IBM Watson legal app. So what might legal AI look like at scale? Well, a few pointers. First, over time, AI as a service will start to develop cognitively and then to commoditize. What this means is that business patterns and regulatory background for particular sectors, say healthcare, and particular project types, say M&A, will in time become baked into the AI platform as generally available learning. Second, it may be that law firms aren't the natural home for legal AI at scale and that other software and as a service providers will turn out to be more suited to it. Third, slick APIs will enable clients to aggregate services from different providers seamlessly, say a legal process outsourcer in India, the AI platform provider, the law firm and the client's own team, and then to connect them all up with the counterparty's teams on the deal. Fourth, a bit like the cloud, network effects will likely lead to consolidation, a small number of large legal AI platforms that everyone uses. But this is all to look a few years out. And how are in-house lawyers using AI now? Well, two reports from autumn last year focused on AI use in-house and found that although law departments don't underestimate its potential, they're not exactly racing towards AI adoption either at the moment. As ever, from this frothy point in the cycle, the trick is to avoid overestimating change short term, but underestimating it long term. If you'd like to find out more about the use of AI in legal services, check out our website at kempitlaw.com.